is going to be a very interesting month for me. Although February is a short month, this year is a leap year, so we do get an extra day, which is a lot of fun. But I'm also going out to Seattle, Washington for So Expo at the end of February. And I have a lot to do to prepare for that. I want to make sure that, you know, not all of my outfits are new, but that I can try and incorporate some of my newer clothes into my wardrobe while I'm there. So I have a few things that I want to tweak um, and some projects that I want to finish up and knowing myself, if I commit to doing all of that and like a whole new sewing pattern too, uh, the new bright shiny thing is what's going to get done and all the older stuff won't. So I'm forcing myself to not pick a new pattern and a new fabric for February. Okay, fair enough. Oh, except for, except for Sew so My Style, because I really am committed to that this month. So let's start with that. So Sew so My Style this month, you can choose between, I think it's like some kind of like boxy jacket that's unisex or an over the shoulder like backpack. So that is what I chose. It's called the Summit Backpack by Cloud Spitter. And I actually got a head start on it because bags are a beast. There are 45,000 pieces to cut out. And the way that you construct a bag is you do all the little parts uh, at once. And then miraculously, somehow in the end, with a few zippers, it all comes together. So I can show you the fabrics that I'm going to be using. I'm pretty obsessed with it. So this is a canvas that I got from Art Gallery. It is from their Charleston line whenever they launched that a couple of years ago. And to go with this, this is my lining fabric and this is the contrast. Some of the pieces have the contrast on the outside. Um, I don't know how to show you that because I don't know which ones are which, but there's like multiple pockets on the outside of this and some of them are going to be the like pinky color and some of them are going to be more pineapples. So I'm really excited about how it's turning out. I've got everything, all the individual pieces fully prepared, all the interfacing, all the foam, all the zippers where they could be installed are installed. I just need to do the big bag zippers. I've got straps made ready to be attached. So this should hopefully come together in an afternoon. And um, like I said, I think it's gonna be really cute. I am planning on bringing it to Sew Expo. I wanna do some sightseeing and all of that stuff. Last year, I was literally there for like 28 hours. I flew in, spent a day and a half there and took the red eye back. Um, and that was nuts. <laughs> so this year, now that I'm going back and it's a little bit more of an official visit, uh, I want to do some sightseeing and see Seattle and all of that. If you're gonna be at Sew Expo, I am teaching two classes. So you can come see me talk and I have a hours long meet and greet every single day, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So you can come meet me. So I will post all of that information in the description box. You guys can add it to your little calendars. I hope that you'll schedule me in and that I can meet you when I'm there. Um, okay, so that's that. I also started working on my reversible pillows. So remember I did fall and Christmas that were reversible. That was so much fun and such an easy decor hack just to be able to turn your pillows over. So I decided I was gonna do that again, this time for Valentine's Day and spring. So I um, went ahead and prepared a couple of things on my Cricut, one of which is this, which says love in sign language, how cute. Um, the other one is going to be bless your heart <laughs> with that gingham plaid that I've had forever and ever. This is from Spoonflower. Um, this background fabric is actually from an old slip cover from a sofa. 
so you can really you know use up your stash as much as you can so the, that this border is going to be all around bless your heart and then on the reverse side i have just this kind of basic spring graphic and the other side for the spring one will be like these little plants that i don't have done yet so i have the pillows planned to do those take no time at all i'm excited for those super super fun um okay then i also have the Seamwork Danny and I started this a while ago. It is out of faux leather. It is a deep V. I plan on wearing it with a black turtleneck and uh, black leggings and kind of making it a whole like, you know, black look. Um, so I need to attach the skirt or I need to actually construct the skirt. And I, in doing that, I am going to be showing you guys how to sew the waist inseam pockets. Remember I did that tutorial on how to convert your flappy teardrop pocket pieces to ones that are sewn into the waist. A bunch of you asked if I could demonstrate how to now sew that into a garment. So that's what I am gonna be using um, this for. It's really kind of the reason why I haven't just like knocked it out is because there's like a whole process with filming a tutorial. So Seamwork Danny out of a little pleather, gonna be so cute. Okay, and then I want to also address three garments that I've made in the past that I'm not wearing. And the only reason I'm not wearing them is because of one little thing here or there that I feel like I can fix. So the first one, I cannot even remember the pattern. I have no idea what pattern this is. It's an indie pattern, I know that for sure. Um, okay, so it is, it is this cute little bodice, right? Like it has empire waist and then like a little fold over with a tulip hem, right? Super, super cute. But then it also has this cowl neck, right? So now it's all the way up here. And it has long sleeves with the little cuff that you can put your thumb in. So basically from here, <laughs> all of this is this crazy floral print. And it's just a lot, a lot, a lot. So what I wanna do is cut off the cuff and make just a regular length sleeve, maybe even three quarter sleeve, because again, the print is a lot. And then I wanna whack off this cowl neck and I just wanna convert it into a regular folded under cover stitch situation so that it's not all the way up here. It's just a normal thing. And after evaluating that, if I wanna scoop it out even more, I might do that. But basically what I'm gonna end up making is just like a regular normal top, right? That's gonna be fine. And then I think I'll wear it more. I mean, it is still a crazy print for <laughs> a top, um, but it's like, what else was I supposed to do with it? I don't even know where I got this fabric, to be honest with you. I mean, it is pretty, it's just a lot. It's just a lot, a lot. Okay, and then I also, uh, you can kind of see how I mocked this guy up here. So normally this is all the way down, 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 and it's long, 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 long. And I feel like I'm not wearing it because when something is kind of like boxier on top and then it's also long, I just feel like I'm drowning in it. This also has this kind of neckline. So it's just like a lot of fabric. And so I feel like if I can um make it shorter so that it hits at my like true hip and then like the front is gonna like kind of come down a little bit and it'll be like a normal length in the back i don't know i feel like that would be like a lot more wearable i mean there's nothing not wearable about it it's a pretty color it's a solid the fabric is great quality like there's really no reason i shouldn't be wearing it so i think if i crop it or not crop it, that makes it sound like it's gonna be real short. If I just make it like a normal length, regular length cardigan, then I think I will get a lot more wear out of it. 
Same thing with this. Okay, you guys might remember this. I made it for Sew Expo last year. Remember I took that red eye and I just wanted something really comfortable. Again, the problem with that is that it's not so much boxy as it is just so much fabric. Um, so I feel like if I can, um, you know, cut away the band and pin and, and, you know, tailor it so that it sits up more. So the pink hits at the natural waist. I just feel like that is going to be a lot more figure flattering and a lot more comfortable. I mean, right now it comes down to like my mid thigh. That's just way, way, way too much fabric for me. So I want it to come up so that the back of it just barely covers my, my bum. So it just barely hits the bottom part of my bum. And I feel like I would wear it a lot more. So both of those things shouldn't take too, too much work. I mean, the pink one, this one isn't even hemmed. It's just, I just got to cut it. So that should take no time at all. But I just, I mean, even looking at it like pinned up like that, it's already so much better, right? So much better. So those are the things that I am going to be working on in February. Again, I'm sorry. It's not like the bright, shiny new thing, but hopefully I'll have some good before and afters of like this and those. Um, and like the Danny is kind of new. The bag is going to be awesome. So I am so happy about all my projects, but I'm forcing myself to stick with my resolutions and not go after all the new spring patterns that just came out and try and tackle some of what I've got going on here as well. Um, you also can't see this, but my jacket is still here with no buttons on it. Oh. I just have to bite the bull. I think I'm afraid. I think I'm afraid. There's a fear that is holding me back from finishing this. And I'm afraid to put the buttons on because that is something that's hard to undo, the buttonholes. And huh, I don't wanna ruin it because it's looking so good already. But all I have to do is make the belt and put on the buttons and I'll be able to wear it at Sew Expo. That should be my goal is to be able to bring a mostly handmade wardrobe, including outerwear, all to Sew Expo. So Sew Expo, I'm gonna leave on the, I don't even remember. It starts on the 26th, but I'm going up the weekend before. So I have like two and a half weeks probably, plus all my regular work. So we're gonna be fine. <laughs> Um, anyways, let me know what you guys are working on in February. Um, are you sticking with your resolutions still? I mean, it's only been a few weeks, but it, it gets hard. So um, just let me know how you guys are doing in general. And I will see you all very soon. Bye.